So this has recharged centers at universities, also known as specialized service centers. They're basically operating units to provide goods or services to other entities on the campus, and they fund those operations through user fees. So these are supposed to be self-supporting entities. I think many of you at your institutions know that they're also um, probably heavily, heavily subsidized, at least at my school. We don't charge the full cost of the rates. And then um, more recently, NIH came out with a uh, important notice on what they referred to as core facilities. And uh, so that's an important uh, document for you to reference. And uh, they give a definition, very similar to the definition we saw in recharge centers, which is the uh, shared services, and uh, those services are, uh, the cost of the services are recouped through user fees. Okay, so very similar. And it may be user fees charged to NIH or other federal grants. And so that's why there's such an emphasis on compliance, because many of these units that charge fees, charge those fees to federal funds. So this is the current language in A21. And it's the section, uh, I think it's J44, which talks about specialized service facilities. And very briefly, it said the cost of these uh, services or goods we're uh, rendering to others on our campus should be charged directly to users based on actual use, and I should add actual cost, and rates that don't discriminate between federal and non-federal users. And as we know, if you operated these centers, they don't have to break even each and every year. In fact, most of them don't break even. There's either a surplus or a deficit. They either charge too little or too uh, low a cost. And so there's that differential over or under recovery that has to be reflected in future rates. Now, that's not a lot of information to go by. But that's what has been in A21. So uh, that's why these things are complicated, because we don't have a lot of guidance in, in the regulations. Now I'm going to fast forward to, to CFR Part 200, which is the new, I'm referring to it as the omnicircular. But it took eight OMB circulars, including A21, and kind of mushed them all together. And, uh, we're in the process now of waiting for guidance from the federal agencies because the new omnicircular must be implemented by uh, December 26th of this year. And there's a section in there. It's actually section 200.468 entitled Specialized Service Facilities. And I have a copy of that. You won't be able to see it, but it's basically half a page. And so that's not, again, a lot of information to go on. And, sorry, it's virtually identical to what's in A21 now in that specialized service facilities uh, section. Now, the interesting thing, and I've compared the language, with, but this says in A21, currently, the cost of each service shall consist normally of both its direct cost and allocable share of indirect cost. Rates shall be adjusted biennially, etc. Now it says the cost of each service must consist normally of both indirect and the rates must be adjusted. So we substituted must for shall. It's basically the same. In fact, when I look at this section 468, it's virtually identical to what's in uh, 821 currently. So those of us who work for colleges and universities, we don't have much more information to go on than we have today, but also nothing really has to change then uh, if we've been conforming to the circular. Question? Yeah.